How's it going everyone? This is Justin Ham from AppSlice and here I have downloaded the ISO of the Windows 8 Developer Preview. So uh, I'm just going here in the, uh, the <laughs> finder to find it and uh, setting it up in the virtual machine in Parallels. Uh, right here obviously it doesn't detect it as Windows 8 but you know whatever. It doesn't require a product key which is awesome. You can actually go download it for free right now without being a developer at all. Uh, so we're just setting up some stuff here. The normal stuff when you're setting it up in the virtual machine. Um, I, I just wanted to show you guys the uh, the installation process of this. Nothing really exciting, but it's kind of cool, you know, because it's Windows 8. Um, uh, you should definitely know, though, that you can't run this actually very well in a virtual machine. Uh, the apps won't work at all. I've tried, and it kind of sucks. But you can install it, and you kind of can use it. So uh, this is sped up at 10x just because it took a little bit of time, and I didn't want to, you know, bore you guys. So um, actually, this did take a pretty quick amount of time. Um, I think the whole process was about 15 minutes so that's pretty cool. Uh, and as you can see there on the right side I had a couple of tweets coming in and stuff like that and I stopped it so that won't be annoying you. And yeah so pretty much you can see it's very much like the Windows 7 install. There's actually not much different at all except it says Windows Developer Preview and uh, it boots up pretty quickly as you could see and as you could have seen if you watch some of the Microsoft videos um, it boots up very quickly and that, and you can see right here that kind of metro interface um, right there as it's preparing the PC um, other than that coming up now it goes to a black screen which didn't really fix itself and I wasn't sure what happened and it froze there for a bunch of minutes so I just kind of exited out and uh, opened it back up so as you can see I'm doing that right now <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just starting it again, opening up in full screen again. Whoops. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we're reopening it now, and this is actually in real time. You know, before it was sped up, but this is in real time. Um, it's going to be obviously much faster in the final build and on a, a dedicated machine rather than a virtual machine. But as you can see, it's actually pretty quick in uh, loading everything up. So. Just give it a second here. And I'll put that in full screen so it looks a little prettier. <laughs> and it brings you right into the start screen. Uh, there's some network settings that you need to use as soon as you uh, set it up. And now uh, I just changed the screen resolution just because 800 by 600 looks ridiculously ugly. And this is uh, 1920 by 1080 is the uh, resolution of my monitor. And so, uh, yeah, that's basically it. As you can see, it's got some of the new UI stuff, such as the start screen. Uh, there's no really start menu anymore. It kind of just takes you into the start screen and has all your apps right there. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much um, what I have seen <laughs> of Windows 8 so far. Here's going into Internet Explorer, and uh, this is really the only app in Windows 8 now, the developer preview, that works if you're using a virtual machine, that and control panel, but there's not really much to see. Uh, basically, it's just, you know, so you can play around with it and see what the new uh, UI looks like. Anyway, guys, uh, that's been my installation video. Uh, stay tuned for more Windows 8 previews, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.